Hello everyone, I'm Sheldon Barlett Rumor and this is it. Welcome back to This Is It TV, a familiar face. Joining you today, I would love for him to introduce himself, his first and last name, and the name of his book. Sheldon, I'm Louis Bezich, and I'm the author of Crack the Code, 10 Proven Secrets That Motivate Healthy Behavior and Inspire Fulfillment in Men Over 50. Yes. I'm also a contributing writer to Philly Voice, yeah. And I like to think of myself as a men's health advocate. Yeah, I mean, 100%. I mean, if you are looking to live a better life, we have got the gentleman for you. I'm so excited that you're back and joining us again today. I Thanks know, to that, I know, I know it's so good. I know you have an amazing topic that you want to pose um, and a discussion that you want to start. So I'm going to let you jump right in. Well, Sheldon, I think uh, I want to talk about... Um, transition, right? Yeah. Because the, our, our country right now is in a state of transition, sure. gradually moving out of the coronavirus mode, slowly, steadily, not 100%, certainly, but we're moving out of it. Yeah. And that, and, and moving to try to form some uh, new normal, if you will, right? We all talk about the new normal. Yeah. And, you know, the, the, the incredible observation I've made is that, you know, particularly in the, in the things that I study, is that the coronavirus has proven that uh, when it comes to behavior, yeah. um, we can indeed change. You know, we've changed our behavior. We've worn masks. We've isolated ourselves. Yeah. We've, we've locked down at home and found new ways to communicate with each other, new ways to develop and, and sustain our social relationships with our children, with our family, friends, et cetera. And, and that is incredible. You know, behavior change is behind everything that we do and our ability to grow. And certainly when it comes to healthy behavior, what we're talking about is changing our behavior. So I think we're at a, a transition point or a crossroads where the question is, can we sustain the good that has come out of this horrific yeah. uh, pandemic? Yeah. And there's certainly a lot of good there, particularly for men, because men have been so adversely impacted. You know, the, the mortality rate among older men is in some places like where I work, double what it is for women. And that's been the case around the country and around the world that men are more adversely affected because for two reasons. One, biology, we're just the way we're built, we're, we're less able to fight the virus than women. The chromosome, you know, makeup is different, but it's also our behavior. Because of our, our general poor behavior, our healthy, unhealthy behaviors, men are more susceptible. And unfortunately, that's caused a higher mortality rate and that's really bad. And so hopefully we can learn from that and as we go forward. Wow, absolutely. And I know that we've talked multiple times, and I really want to have you touch on it again, the importance of having a reason to make this change, having a reason to really focus on living a better life. And, and on the other side of it, we know we're capable of scaling back, we're capable of taking care of ourselves, but I would love this change, you know, is a discipline. It's something that it has to become a lifestyle versus a gimmick exactly. or a diet in, in that way. And, you know, I know that you touch on a number of different ways that motivate you in this change. What are some of the ways that people can stay motivated as they adhere to these continued changes? Well, Sheldon, as, as we've talked before, Motivation is all about the end game. And the end game are those relationships. It's, it's those, what's important in our lives, what drives us, what puts the fire in the belly that really translates into discipline. Yeah. And what we've seen through the coronavirus is that a, a great opportunity to strengthen those relationships. And in particular for, for men to see how important it is to have, uh, spend time with children or grandchildren or with your spouse or partner, whatever the case might be. We've been forced to do it because of the coronavirus and, and the, the um, yeah. lockdown and what have you. But yeah. I think, again, to me, one of the silver linings is a new uh, appreciation for those relationships. And again, a platform as we go forward. No, oh, I agree. I agree. And I think that, you know, if somebody were to say willingly, you know, can you stay in your home for 60 plus days? Can you stay isolated? Can you stay disciplined? The majority of people would probably say no. No, I cannot do that. But because yeah. of necessity and advising folks that have advised us in that direction, and the fact that that isolation has worked in saving lives, we now see that we are capable of the discipline that we, you have been encouraging us to do for years. Which right. is well, the takeaway is we can do it. Right? Yeah. Anyway, we've proven it. Now, the, the, the question is, 
Can we sustain it? Can we take the good and go forward? And that's where I think there are really three key things for men as we go forward. Number one is, uh, in terms of can we do it, uh, practice healthy behaviors, not only for yourself, but for your family, right? Because we've seen uh, and we witness it firsthand how important those things are. So as we move out of coronavirus, don't go backwards, go forward, right? We've proven that and, and use that motivation to do it. Number two is leverage those relationships, right? Realize how important they are and what you were able to learn during that coronavirus period and sustain that going forward, right? right? That that's, we, we learn so much and we wanna keep that going forward. And number three is, I think this is really important for men, yeah. lead. Lead by example, yes. right? We all, we all like to think of ourselves as leaders. So when it comes to the, the new normal and the mask and the social yes. distancing, you know, it's not macho to say, I don't need a mask. Right. You know, we have this false sense of manhood in this country that we need to overcome. Oh. And I think I see it sometimes, unfortunately, translating into the new normal with, yeah. with the mask or the social distancing yeah. or the, you know, the, the other things we need to do, the hand washing, whatever. Like, I don't need that. I'm a guy. I'm tough. Well, the virus <laughs> doesn't act that way. No, right? no. So in order to sustain all the benefits we derive, we need to do that. I think if men can do those two things, particularly being a lead, I yeah. think people will see that. And, and the next generation of, of young men and women will yes. see that and hopefully learn from that. Oh my gosh. I think that all of the, the three points are so poignant. And I think that it's really important to really look at things head on, know that we are capable, know that we can do it and know that change is possible. I want to make sure that people can get in touch with you. I want to make sure that people can follow Fan and like you and really grasp what it is that you are sharing as it relates to men's health and beyond. If you could share with us where they can get in touch with you, that would be amazing. Well, you can find all the connections to me at uh, 50 at 50 plus men dot, dot com. 50 plus men dot com. That's our website. You'll see all the information uh, about the book. You'll see the articles I write for Philly Voice. You'll see the interviews uh, that, that we do together yes. and uh, all sorts of uh, information about uh, what I'm doing in the area of men's health. Oh, wonderful. Well, we are going to include the link to your recent article from Philly Voice within the post for this video. So guys, you can check that out. And then also we'll provide you the link to be able to purchase his book. I'm telling you, it is worth every single page. Thank you so much for joining me. Great, Sheldon. Good to see you again. Well, good to see you. I know that it won't be the last time. We will be seeing you shortly talking about more topics that have to do with men's health and much, much more. I'm so grateful that he is part of the This Is It TV community. Okay, guys, you must follow, fan, and like our friend. From all of us here at This Is It TV, I'm Sheldon Barlett-Rumor, and we will see you soon. Take care.